Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today is just random. I just feel like doing my makeup on camera. I did promise you guys like an updated makeup routine, like what I've been doing recently. So that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing today, plus using a couple new products and giving you my feelings on them. Um, I haven't had time to do like a dedicated review on this new foundation, so I'm going to use this today and talk to you guys about it. I've been using it for a couple weeks, so this is going to be like a mini review of this foundation, and I'm going to show you just how I've been doing Doing my makeup recently. I'm gonna start off with primer. This one's a little bit new to me, but I've been liking it lately. It's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Hydrating Primer, and my dry skin has been the worst lately. So this is a really good hydrating primer, and it has a little bit of like luminosity to it. I have this new Duo Fiber Pink Brush that came out of the Smoke and Roses collection, and it's replacing my old one. I don't know like if anyone would remember this but the old duo fiber brush like one of the first brushes brush collections they came out with was my favorite for so long for primer and like cream contour and it finally died when I was washing it all the bristles just came out of the little ferrule and it was dead that's exactly what this brush is it's just pink and it's called the f9 so this is kind of just gonna be like sharing with you my actual like makeup techniques that I use in my daily life when I'm actually wearing a full face of makeup which is kind of rare lately just because of how busy I've been it's been a lot of like no makeup days to be honest but I love when I can sit down and find the time to do a full face. I'm also trying to do like an Instagram reel. I have no idea if it's actually going to go up, but you know that one where they like tap the brush like it's a microphone and you have no makeup on and then you swoosh the brush and then you have makeup on. We're going to try to do that today. Okay, so while my primer kind of like base on my face, this is what I actually do like in real life. I will do my brows first before I do my foundation. So I've really been liking this combo. I talked about this in my favorite makeup of 2021 and it is the Huda Beauty Balm Brows Pencil because it's like the skinniest brow pencil ever. So I don't have like a lot of filling that needs to be done but I do like to like try to raise my arches a little bit. I don't know my brows are a little straight lately. I do need to trim them because they are full. I always like feel like people think that I have like sharpie brows, you know, like I'm overfilling them, but to be honest, they're just like that naturally. Um, so I don't need to do a lot to them and I do kind of want to shear them out because I feel like the thick, thick brows are kind of out lately. I don't know how to like professionally like shear them out with scissors or whatever. That could go so wrong if I try to do that myself. Okay, so I'm going to dip into my Anastasia. Ooh, I'm going to dip into my Anastasia brow freeze and I really want to try the elf version of this and it's out of stock everywhere I literally can't find it I want to go to Ulta and try to find it but if you guys have tried the elf version let me know is it a dupe or does it suck you can start to see like the individual hairs when I brush this through my brows so I like it so I'm gonna take a little bit of powder this is like a random like hack um, just because I'm filming, I like tend to sweat on my upper lip. It's so annoying. I noticed it in my last video, but this is the Pretty Fresh Powder from ColourPop. It's new. I haven't really put this to the test yet. I'm just going to pick some of this up on a fluffy brush and push it into my lip area. Um... Mm, I have like a little bit of hair. Hang on. My maintenance routine hasn't been that good, so let me just get rid of this. I have like a mustache, a little bit of peach fuzz, which I'm not about that life. So I got my little facial razor out. So I talked a little bit about this foundation, the Beautiful Skin Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury on my TikTok. You guys can follow me there if you want like short videos. I'm trying to be better about making TikToks, but this did not blow me out of the water. Like it had so many expectations in my mind because it's Charlotte Tilbury and Charlotte Tilbury is going viral right now and if they're going to come out with a skin product I thought it was going to kind of resemble the Hollywood Flawless Filter and just like make you look like a glowing baby angel goddess. I don't know but it just didn't do that to me but I don't hate it. Like the last time I tried it was on TikTok and I actually liked it but it's not it's still not blowing me away. So this is going to be like my 10th time trying it and we'll see how it looks together but I mentioned in that TikTok like it kind of takes a little bit more product than I thought it would to get a full coverage or like medium coverage. 
I thought I wasn't gonna need a lot, but I kind of do. And in this tube, I just don't feel like there's that much product. So I feel like that's a trend with Charlotte Tilbury. Like their, their tube products don't have a ton of product in them, but they go viral and they're expensive and luxury, but just not a lot of product in there. And for me, like I'm used to the It Cosmetics that's in a tube like that, and that stuff lasts me forever and I love it. So I guess I'm kind of comparing it to that too. I don't know, but long story short, we're gonna try it again and I'm gonna dot it all over my face. I do like to apply it with a brush and I am losing my self tan a little bit. I don't know if you can tell, it's like still on my arms, but it's coming off of my face and body. So we'll see if this matches me. It's the shade 3N, 3 neutral. It's a little uh, yellowy. My face is a little red today. Going right over that powder. I don't know how that's gonna act on my lip, but. I thought about returning it, but I've used it so many times now that it just feels like morally wrong. <laughs> I was gonna return it for a different shade. Um, but at this point, I don't know, I've used it so many times, it's like probably almost gone, I don't know. I don't know, you guys can see it. It's not like, it's not majestic, right? It's just kind of basic. I am gonna do a little bit of brightening. Uh, I don't really know, this is like way too light for me, but it's the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade fair warm i'm just gonna do like a dot under my eyes they seem a little more red than usual not sure why and i'm just gonna blend that underneath the eye for some brightness and to like get rid of that redness i don't know you know what i've been having like an eczema breakout uh, all over my body, so maybe that's contributing to the redness too in my face. I'm gonna use this Patrick Top blush as my contour. It's the She's So LA, and I'm gonna take the cream part of it with my F80 Air from Sigma, which is one of my favorites just for cream products in general. I'm gonna pick up kind of a lot, and we're going to try to contour the face with blush and see what happens. New makeup technique is to go up there right like not down in the hollows but up along the cheekbone and it is technically a blush so i'm not like afraid to do that and we're gonna start to get some warmth to this complexion now, i'm not thrilled with my base today because of that foundation unfortunately i will say i think it photographs really well uh i took a picture of my like face with no filter or anything on my back camera of my phone and I had this foundation on and I was really actually impressed with just how my skin looked which I thought it was going to change my mind about the foundation but like up close in person for some reason it's like I can see more pores and more texture that I'm just not used to seeing. That made a big difference this Patrick Ta blush so I am going to go in with another blush. This one I haven't tried yet. And the stuff that I laid out today was kind of like Valentine's Day themed. I don't know if you guys are going to see. You probably will see another video from me and before Valentine's Day. But I wanted to do something like romantic and pinky themed. So a lot of this is that. But this is just basic makeup for me. So this is the Cherie blush stick from Nude Sticks. It's the Nudie's Matte All Over Face Blush Color. I've been so obsessed with nude sticks lately because it's so quick and so easy so i'm just gonna do like a little dot um directly under the eyes like a technique i think i saw from wayne goss like forever ago i guess i didn't go directly did i i don't know whatever i'm just going under the eye area with the blush and then doing a tapping motion with the same stipple brush and just keeping it in that one area right under the eyes that's it for blush and contour. So simple, so fast and easy. Uh, I do wanna do this highlighter, actually. So I'm gonna go into this new ColourPop Soul Body highlighter. This is called Starlight. It's one of the um, bug collections, all the buzz bug collection, um, which I thought was so cute. It's one of their highlights. And this is a really pretty like champagne-y, glittery highlight that can be used for body or face. I'm picking it up with a Sigma highlighter brush. And I already have like a lot of glow from all the products. So I'm just gonna kind of like sweep it outward along the C shape. And it does have like some chunkier glitter in it. 
Oh, I'm breaking out right there. And it's like, as soon as one breakout went away, another one came out. This one is like the dragonfly. And that's exactly what it reminds me of, like a little fairy trail of glitter. Now I'm gonna try something new for me. Um, I used to do this a lot. I haven't in a long time, but I'm trying to use this product before I decide if I wanna keep it or not. Uh, it's a really expensive face powder if I'm not gonna keep it, you know? It's the Face and Body Dior Backstage No Powder Powder. Powder, no powder. It sounds like like swiper, no swiping, like Dora the Explorer. I'm dipping in with a luxury brush from Sigma. I freaking love these brushes. I also used the little one earlier, but this is the big powder slash bronzer. So I just wanna try this, like I'm gonna dot it in the T-zone and then up the bottom of my jaw and a little bit in like this area. Cause everywhere else I wanna keep it glowing. You know, I think that is doing what it's supposed to do. Like, it's giving me a little bit of set, but it's not cakey. Giving this some more chances. I like it. I'm using one of the most long-lasting items in my collection, and that is MAC Painterly. I don't know why we all just stopped using it. If you found something so, so much better, like, share it with me because I'm still using this. I don't really know of anything any eye base that I've personally used that has replaced it for me. Like, I really like the Persuade from Sigma. I just don't have it in front of me. But, like, still, there's nothing I would reach for more than this for some reason. And I feel like there's so many other eye bases out there. I need to broaden my horizons. ColourPop Gone Matte. Haven't talked about this at all on anything, but I freaking love this palette for day to day. Um, I'm obsessed. I'm gonna show you exactly what I've been doing for my eyeshadow. So, I really like this pinky row, and there's a shade called PJs that I really like as a crease color on me. Normally, I feel like people steer clear from like pinky shadows because it can look like pink eye, but I feel like pinky shadows are meant for my skin color. I don't know. I like pinky shadows, so putting this into the crease with the Diffused Blend E24. I think this might be one of those luxury brushes. Um, I'm literally using a dirty brush that has the same pinky color on it from the last time I used this eyeshadow. So for real, this is what I've been doing lately. It might be a little boring, but I feel like I like knowing what people do like every single day as opposed to just like the fun looks all the time. I love fun looks, but like, I want to know what you're wearing every day. Okay, so now that that color is nice and diffused, I do like to go in with a smaller brush. This one is the E25, and a shade below that is called Cozy Cute. It's still, like, pinky, but it's just a little bit deeper. Just in the outer corner. Like, barely. Like, you guys probably can't even see what I'm doing at all. Just darker right in that outer corner. I'm honestly barely blending it. I'm just kind of like placing it there. It does kind of look like a bruise. Love that for me. And then finally, I'm gonna go over with the light shade in the same row, You're a Foe. I don't know what it's trying to say there, but picking up that color and sweeping it across the lid so that we don't have a creasy wrinkle lid. We are ha gonna have a finishing touch with the eyes, but I wanna do my liner. And this, I wanted to show you this before, but the video I filmed, I didn't put up because I was complaining about stuff that is no longer relevant. So I don't know, hopefully this video goes up for you guys so you know how I'm actually doing my makeup lately. But this liner, I never got the chance to share with you. This is the Benefit Roller Liner in Brown. I probably talked about it in my favorites video, but I never showed you what I'm actually doing. So I've been doing, a quarter wing it's not even a half wing it's a quarter wing of brown liner just to open up my eyes it's really been helping me to look more awake on days where i'm not feeling it so i'm going to show you how i do it it's really simple really easy you can use like any brown liner or even like a brown eyeshadow so i just go out like more sideways than up and then connect
So I'm gonna do this part off camera because I need a little breather. But these are the lashes I'm gonna put on today. They are the Kiss Lash Couture Midnight. I think I might have got these from like Marshalls or something. I do trim my lashes a little bit. Yes, Marshalls for three bucks. I don't know why they were on sale, but I'm gonna put these on. Lashes are key for this like doe-eyed type look. And I will be right back to finish this look. Okay, so do you guys see how freaking doughy my eyes look? Like it's all in the liner and lashes. So I still have some glue drying. You're probably gonna see it. My glue is the duo, so it's like kind of blue until it's dry. Um, so I need to make sure that this is actually connected. So I have to let this lash get tacky and then connect the end, but this is like the key that I've been doing lately and I've gotten a lot of compliments on it and these are the gems from ColourPop. Like they're the little crystals and I take the tiniest size and I just put a gem on the top of each eyelid and it makes such a huge freaking difference because it's like this little thing but it's very noticeable, especially in real life. And I always get so many compliments and questions and everything about it. So I just put a little bit of lash glue on this clear paper. I pluck one of the crystals off of the paper with my tweezers and dip the bottom of it in the lash glue. So I like to center it above my pupil kind of, and I make sure to go above the crease so that it shows even when my eyes are open. So like right there. So even when my eyes are fully open, it doesn't like fall into the crease. I love doing this though. Like this little touch right here. I'm going to have to buy more of these gems. I hope that they're still in stock. My paper is almost gone of the tiniest row. Like there's bigger ones, but I really like these little tiny ones. Even like an everyday look, you can just amp it up with these gems. I'm not like a very um, symmetrical human being, so it's going to be as good as it gets. <laughs> I don't think that's too, too bad. These ones are a little bit iridescent, so they really pick up the light, like no matter what lighting you're in. And I think it makes a huge difference. And I think it's all in the liner and lashes, honestly. Like it just makes my eyes look way, way bigger than they normally do. And I actually avoid a lot of mascara on the lower lash line. I'm not actually going to do any today, but I would normally do like a teeny bit, but I kind of like how open it looks with just focusing everything on the top part of the eyes. We're going to leave the bottom open. Okay, so I'm getting some anxiety. <laughs> There's some stuff going on that's just stressing me out. So I'm going to finish this up. I have the Rosewood Liner from Laura Mercier. I use this all the time. Uh, I feel like my lips are like at their peak moment with like the perfect amount of like filler and I really like the way they look right now so I just line them a little bit I don't really even have to overline them um, I do like to kind of erase the cupid's bow that's been my technique lately with lip liner just add some color and then I don't really know how this color is going to look on me I have one this is the fresh kiss from ColourPop lip cream in the shade BB spice I'm going to try it on, but I'm not sure if this is what I'm going to stick with or not. Let's try it. Yes. I like it. I thought it was going to be too dark. It's perfect. Not sure what collection. You guys know ColourPop has been putting out too much for me to keep up with. <laughs> I like that color a lot, actually. I've been looking for a nice your lips but better pinky nude color and this matches rosewood almost perfectly but that's the vibe everything is very cohesive very like pinky toned pretty much which is why I was feeling like the Valentine's Day vibe out of this one which totally you could rock this to your Valentine's Day date um, or party or whatever you want to do but this has been it this has been my go-to makeup when I'm not filming it's really just like my go-to techniques and I've been using a lot of cream products uh, I don't typically use the Charlotte Tilbury foundation. I would say my foundation of choice lately has been the Urban Decay Hydro Maniac, but like whatever works, you know, and sometimes it's just concealer. But for the most part, this is the vibe and that quarter wing liner has really been 
working for me lately and it's brown it's not even black it's like a little bit less harsh everything is just a little less harsh than it used to be so I hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial and kind of learning how I've been doing my makeup a lot lately um, if you are shopping any of the new ColourPop launches you can always use my discount code Kendall I have the Valentine's Day collection in front of me and I think I'm gonna review it for you guys because I've been looking for an excuse to sit down and do a full collection review and Valentine's Day really does more my heart uh, not really for the reasons that you would think it does but the pinky vibe in makeup land is like my favorite vibe of the year so I love the little heart blushes and just the pinky colors like this I love pinky colors in makeup so that's why I really resonate with this time of year that is it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching and for hanging out with me all the products that I use today will be listed down below and hopefully I will see you guys very very soon in my next video bye guys